Ja, wir einfach einfach wo sind wir jetzt? Also, wir befinden uns gerade in Wernigerode. Oder soll ich auf Englisch machen? Es geht auch. Nein, nein, nein. Auf okay. Englisch. Das wäre auch interessant. Okay. okay. Auf Englisch. Okay. Tim auf Englisch. Ich nicht. <lacht> we are right now here in Wernigerode. And we are going to this, let's say, high school. Aha. Uh -huh. And all the students from grade 10 until 12 study here. Mm -hmm. This building was built in 1871. Mm -hmm. And that was also the year when the German Empire was established. Founded. Yeah. Yeah, established. Okay, established. And yeah. What I'm is your connection to the school? The connection. I'm in grade 11. Uh -huh. And that's my school. I'm leaving one village further. Uh -huh. And yeah. And this building was built in 1871. R right. How does it function? Is it does it work well? Uh, what do you mean with working well? Um, well, um, the reason I asked the question yeah. is the community where I live uh, would have long ago torn down a building built in 1871 because they say it's not modern. Okay. And in other words, does this building fulfill the needs of a high school? Yeah, it really does. It's, let's say it's not modern like other buildings uh -huh. were built. 30 or 40 years ago, uh -huh. but it makes a drop, mm -hmm. and it. How it many students attend this school? Just this building or the whole school? Oh, they have more than one building. Yeah, we have another building. Uh huh. It's the big yellow one. If we walk this street down uh -huh. and turn left. So how do they divide the use of this building from the use of the other building? Okay. Let's say the teachers use both buildings, and uh -huh. we have long breaks. Mm -hmm. between the classes, mm -hmm. so they have enough time to walk between the builders, buildings. So they're that close together. They're close together, right? Yes. Okay, and all students from grade 10 until 12 uh -huh. go to this school, uh -huh. and the other school, there are the students from grade 5 to 9. And how many students are in grades 10 through 12? I don't know the real number, but... Uh, approximately. Okay. Approximately, uh, let's say, 180. 180. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the whole school are about 600. 600. Yeah. And um, do you have a lot of students that go on to study medicine or law or engineering or physics yeah. or? For example, my dream is to study tourism. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. I got the right man to talk for the town <laughs> if he's studying tourism. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe there are some students, but uh -huh. my, my mates here, I don't think they want to study medicine because uh -huh. it's very hard here. Uh -huh. Well, I'm, I'm really asking that to ask about the preparation that the school gives the students. If the students, when they do their abitur, feel competent to go on to study in the university? I well, let's say that depends on the state you're in. Uh -huh. Let's say in this state, Saxony-Anhalt, uh -huh. it's very... the... the Numerous classes? A, and in you know, the A-level, uh -huh. it's very hard mm -hmm. to reach. And let's say in Bremen, it's easier. Your English is excellent. Have you studied any language other than English, other than, and of course, German? No, but let's... I'm studying, uh, right now in the school, I'm studying English and French. Uh-huh. But you have to learn about one language. Uh-huh. Until grade 12. And then you can take another language, huh? So we learn in grade 5 English. Mm-hmm. Uh, already in grade 12. Three are then we are on the elementary uh -huh. school, but right now we learn in French, then grade seven, and you have uh -huh. to take the, or Latin, is uh -huh. possible, or Russian. So you have the possibility of studying English, French, Latin, or Russian. Right. Uh huh. And then in grade nine, also Spanish. Uh huh. But then you in grade eleven you can choose mm -hmm. if you want to take one or two. Or also three, but if 
you do more lang languages, uh -huh. you have to not to do so much science, like physics and so on. Uh -huh. Let's say most friends. So he's doing English uh -huh. and has chemistry and physics. I see. But I have French and English, so only have chemistry. Uh -huh. Now you're studying both French and English at the same time. Yeah. Is that difficult? Is that confusing or? Uh... No, it isn't really confusing. Uh huh. I have stayed for three weeks in the USA. Oh. In Dalton, Georgia. Dalton, we have Georgia. A, a partner school there. Uh huh. And every second year we have a partnership with mm -hmm. an exchange. Mm hmm. With the school, and then some students come to us in May, and then uh -huh. we go to them in October. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Dalton, Georgia is a place where they make a lot of carpet. Right. right. The carpet capital of the world. Yeah. <laughs> it's the nickname of it. Uh -huh. And has your family always lived in this area as far back right, as you right. know? We are, my parents were, also were born in, here in East Germany. Uh -huh. And they also went to school, not here, uh, here in another borough. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, good. Well, thank you very much. You're you, welcome. You do very well. I think you're a you're good representative much. for the town. Okay. <laughs> you're welcome.